What's up, guys? Nepenthes here. <laughs> And welcome to another episode of Let's Play FIFA 14. On the last episode, we reached over 5,000 likes once again, so thank you guys for that. And as a prize for you guys being so such awesome people, here is a lovely pussy cat. If you want to see more pussy cats, leave a like on the video, hitting over 6,000 by midnight, and I'll give you guys a special bonus episode today. Before we get into the video, here is the question of the day. What pets, if any, do you have? Leave the answers below, and let's go. And if you guys would like to get any FIFA Ultimate Team coins, check out cheatfootcoins.co.uk for a very fast and reliable service. Okay guys, so into the gameplay we go, and just a brief look at the team we're going to be using before we get into the games. Uh, F as the, the game almost freezes there. So we've got, at the moment, Cahill and Jagielka in defence with Lampard and Carrick there in midfield. Uh, we've got Sanyu at right back, Howard in goal. Um, I do believe that was Santon at left back. I'm um, playing with Welbeck and Torres or Welbeck and Kone or Kone and somebody else up front. I can't remember my full striker. And as you can see here, I've got two bronze packs. Now, these are the daily gift packs and I'm not going to open them until the Wednesday because I personally believe the Manchester United guy is going to be getting an inform and he will be bronze. And if that is the case, then hopefully we'll get him in one of those bronze packs. So as you can see, these Bayern badges sold, increasing our profit by a little bit more, leaving us with nine and a half thousand coins. And that manager that I bought hastily, I picked him up for 3,200 coins. He was the only BPL Portuguese manager on the market for less than three and a half thousand but he just won't sell so i went into the trade pile and or into the transfer market and i bought myself a hatton ben arthur and as i said in the last video and, and tried to stress is that we're looking to get that mid-tier bpl team right now we're looking to get the players that almost everyone can afford eventually um but not every you know not everyone will be will be able to go for and uh, there'll be kind of like a starting block to the big bpl players because the the initial team we're going to be building is going to be a full-on bpl team so i picked up session on there because i actually switched formations from 442 to 41212 because i've been playing 41212 on my other account and i'm absolutely in love with it like i play so well with it so i bought session on and i bought uh, ben arthur there because i wanted the five star skiller i wanted a, another winger to be able to cut in and i come up against this guy he's got a 4231 BPL team himself and Zogbier and Sesson on there in the cam spots uh, Holtby at the, the other the third cam spot Flamini in CDM he's got Welbeck in there as Piliqueta Churches um, Williams in defence and this guy was a, a decent player and at the yeah, moment even well, though I'm playing cups every person that I seem to be coming up against is actually a really really strong player now the patch is being released today I'm actually re recording this commentary on Wednesday um, and the patch is being released today and if the patch has already been released as you're watching this video look at that for a goal from Ben Arthur on his debut as well um, how much difference do you guys think it has made like has it influenced the gameplay hugely or is it not even noticeable I personally think that the things that they said they're going to nerf aren't really going to be changed too much because they can't really change things too much because it will just completely ruin the, the way the game is played but we managed to pick up a 2-1 win there guys with uh, goals coming from Ben Arthur there or a goal coming from Ben Arthur and one from Jermaine Defoe which is pretty nice but that was a very even game we both had uh, even amounts of shots even possession the passing was even but I managed to come out on top which is always very nice and that was a strong team we had as well I actually thought it might be a bit easier but we go into the uh, the semi-final now we've got a record of 21 1 and 5 and um, that's not a bad record I would like it to be a little bit better but uh we're going to look to improve that through the seasons after I win the cup. I'm basically going to keep trying to win the cup until I win it because I want that free gold pack and I want that 2,000 coin bonus. Uh, as you can see, Cahill here is out of contract, so we're going to apply a contract to him. We've still got three left that I picked up for 200 coins and contracts are still a bit cheap as well, guys. And because of that duplication glitch, um, there's so many consumables out on the market right now. So I, I suggest and advise you guys to invest in things like contracts because you can pick them up for 150 or 200 coins and you can just put loads into your club and then when they go up to like four five hundred coins you'll be able to sell them on so the next guy i come up against has got a four one two one two brazilian team it's an incredible looking team pato and robinho at front kaka lucas and uh, osvaldo at left midfield lucas Leiva at center defense midfield santana and alex in defense uh i do believe that's mariano at right back marcelo at left back and uh, i didn't actually get to see the goalkeeper there but it's probably julio cesar and it didn't take this guy long or it did take him quite long but it, it didn't take him long to get his grips on this game and he was pretty comfortable in, in the lead the whole game like you know he was um dominant of possession 
and uh, yeah, good the chances. Torres. You know, I had some chances, but I didn't have all the clear chances. I did manage to pull a goal back there with Fernando Torres. One of those broken crosses and headers there coming in from Sessegnon and Torres heading it into the back of the net to make it 1-1. And just a few minutes later, this guy gets down the right-hand side of his own and Lucas whips in. And this time there is Kaka with the near post header. So a header each in the space of about 10 in-game minutes. And that this time around is the final score again. We actually take a 2-1 loss this time. And I've got absolutely no complaints about that. This guy, was uh, he was strong. He had a much stronger team than me. And any time I come up against anyone with the 4-1-2-1-2 formation, I know that I'm going to be in a bit of trouble. You can see I did have a bit more possession, um, but my shots were from, you know, all over the place. Uh, his shots were from a bit more closer in. He had more shots and shots on target and uh, inevitably he picked up the win so the next team we come up against is another Brazilian team apart from he has um, I can't remember the right midfield the Spanish right midfield from Everton but he has him there um, and he's got Osvaldo left midfield and he's got Fred up front uh, it's it's a decent team Manuel at centre back with that Inter Milan is at Juan Jesus and uh, Jefferson in goal I do believe that is his name and I was thinking to myself oh god I can't be dealing with another loss two in a row I can't be going with it fortunately for me early on in the game the, the ball comes through from corner to Kone. Kone whips it back in and Tom Huddleston manages to get his head on the rebound so now he can shave that stupid stupid haircut off of his face and actually look like a normal human being after scoring a goal for me and a few minutes later again literally just a couple minutes later Aruna Kone there with a lovely finesse shot from the top of the box to make it 2-0 in the 17th minute and this game was starting to look very, very comfortable for me. And on the stroke of halftime, here's Kone again, breaking through the defence with a little bit of luck and takes that shot and it just goes into the back of the net. The keeper caught in no man's land. And that was 3-0 at the halftime mark. A guaranteed win for me pretty much at this stage. I'll be very livid if I conceded after a 3-0 win. And Welbeck makes it 4-0 shortly after the break in the 50th minute. And these finesse shots are starting to come strong. And this team's starting to feel good. You know, it's starting to feel a bit more responsive, uh, but just a bit better in, in both defence and attack and Colaccini there makes it 5-0 in the 90th minute and after this game guys that puts us back into the cup into the into the quarterfinals now we go and that signals pretty much the end of the episode so if you guys are enjoying this if if you guys uh, want to see more of this series leave a like on the video that would be awesome and uh, don't forget to check out all the other videos the playlist is in the description or in the top right hand screen of your top right of your screen right now uh, you can click on that link and it will take you to the full series playlist but guys for now thank you very much for watching hopefully you enjoyed this and I will see you guys next time peace